In this part, we will see two instructions of 8086, XLAT that is translate and exchange instructions. So XLAT or translate instruction is used to translate a particular number to another number usually with the help of a lookup table. Okay. Or uh, in short, XLAT is used to look into a table that a user has created and take value from the table. Okay. It can be viewed like that. So uh, it can be used for code conversion or sequence generation. And for using XLAT, we make use of two registers BX and AL. BX actually holds the offset to the base of the table. So this is our sample table. And as we can visualize, this table might be located within a particular segment, maybe a data segment, right? So within the data segment, the table might be located in an offset from the base of the segment itself. So how far the table is located from the base of the actual segment that is held or um, told by BX. Okay, so BX will point to the base of the table. Then suppose that I need to access the entry 5 from the table. So within the table, how far is the entry 5 from the base of the table that is kept track by AL or AL will offset into the table with respect to the base of the table or the value held within BX. Okay, suppose that I need to access 5. So what I will do is uh, I will make BX to point to the base of the table. Then as a next step, with respect to BX, okay, where BX is pointing, how far is 5 that I will first note. So 5 is at BX itself. So it is 0. So I will store 0 in L. Then I will execute XLAT. Then after I execute XLAT, what happens is the value 5 will be taken from the table and it will be substituted for the value held in L. So actually the value 0 is getting translated to value 5. Okay, so that is why this particular instruction is known as translate. So if you put something into AL and index into this table, the entry from the table will take the place of the value in AL. So that is why it's called translate instruction. So uh, the index into the table is translated into the value from the table. Okay, that's how index or this translate operation happens. Now, next instruction is the exchange instruction. Exchange instruction is a a very easy instruction to swap the contents of our source and destination in 8086 instructions okay so it is an easy method for swapping but there are certain restrictions okay that is the two operands can't be both memory locations so we can't swap between memory locations using exchange instructions and then immediate operands are also not allowed as part of exchange instruction okay so uh, you can use combinations of register register or register memory but no combinations of memory memory or uh, register immediate or immediate register or immediate memory are allowed okay so these are some of the valid exchange uses so if you see here what happens here is we are trying to exchange the value held in the memory location 5000 within the data segment and uh, the value held in the register x and here the exchange operation intends to swap between the values held in AX register and BX register. 